Hello, everyone. Hi, Debbie. Hello, Faye. Hello, right. Steph. Hi, Steph. I'm just seeing I've got the comments coming up. Yes, I have. Brilliant. Hi, Steph. We've got a couple more people joining us, I think. We've got, we've got lots of things to share to start with. So we're gonna we're gonna share some of the new things that have come in. Um, we've just had a big delivery just arrived today, so it's not listed on the website yet. So this is a little bit of a sneak sneak preview. So you're gonna show some cut files. Yes, I know that you've been working on. I've been busy too. <laughs> you have? I have. So um, this is a suggestion by somebody pandemic positive. So I've got two. Um, different ones because there have been lots of positives about the pandemic so I will definitely be using one of these to scrap and just quickly while I was doing that one I thought I've made a couple about scrapping so scrapping is the best medicine oh I like that because we're going on a retreat like in um, February aren't we hi Jill hello Jill scrapping is my therapy Yes, these are great. Scrapping is a way of living and scrapping is a way of life. So I don't know which one I use yet, but probably the best medicine or my therapy because uh, yeah. we all know it's kept us sane, hasn't it? <laughs> yes, yeah, my, um, absolutely. My yeah, oh, I love files. that. And we've got to make sure when we go on the retreat, we take lots of photos so we actually get to scrapbook us. Absolutely. It doesn't happen very often, does it? Our I friend can't Cheryl wait to see. Good. Stash. Yeah. Definitely. Our friend Cheryl's good at taking pictures on retreats and then we Oh we, she's very good, isn't and she? And we nick them because she gets some good some good she's ones. Very good. So not to tempt you too much, you won't have seen these um yet, Deb. So no, no, I'm excited. Lots of um new products that have just come in and um Steph, you're going to be excited because this one I used on the last live. We've just got these in stock. Oh, fabulous. Um, so they're not on the Hello. website yet. They'll be going on this week. And um, this was the one I used. And this, I mean, I use it on so many things. It is just amazing. So versatile. So it's and one this of is, my favorite stencils. It really oh, is. Just love this. So um, that's. We've got lots of Carabelle Studios templates coming in. So that's one. And then look at all these. You like this one, Deb. I love that knitted one. That is, I have got the perfect cut <laughs> file for that because my mum knits so well. And I, oh my goodness, I've got to have one of those. But you've also got some lovely knitting cut files. So you could do the, um, yes, the background with the knitting and then your cut file and steph says you might have to break your stash ban your january stash ban for this this you might have to we won't tell anyone steph and it's huge I mean, it's, it's slightly longer than a4 it's so i know might have to might that might be allowed just just for once and then these stars absolutely lovely so these will all be going on the website in the next few days the cape crane circles look at those that's lovely they are beautiful. So that's those. But there is more Carabelle because we did go a bit Carabelle mad. So we've got this one. I've used. I've got to love that. Different range that's of circles. Gorgeous. The Kate Crane. Um, yes, you might need it for guest designer reasons, Steph. <laughs> Good <laughs> excuse. Absolutely. Good thinking. Let's move my mouse out the way. Right. So these circles and then this one is unusual this is the same size as the other one this is oh that's like crochet yeah oh my goodness so you're excited about this deb because we ordered it on screen and you when you can't see until it arrives and then you're like no Ooh. their photos aren't that great are they on the website no, that and then is we'll just beautiful and and all, it gets delivered to my house, and then Debbie and I upload to the website, so I get to see all. I, it's like Christmas. I get to open all of this first, and then we get to show it. So then we go on to not to tempt you further, but we've gone a bit crazy on enamel dots. Look at all these. I mean, and then Love even things hearts. like um, pearls. We've got Pink Fresh Studio shape sprinkles. 
look at these. I mean, every cut these are slipped down a little bit. Every color you could imagine. So um, some of these are restocks because we'd sold out. So we have restocked, but there's there's more than that in the box. I just picked some of my favorites. I like these. These are the waffle flower. We did this for the color study layout, but we've got them in different tones. Slipped up the packet a bit. I mean, I love those tough. little trees as well. They're so cute. Yes, yeah. and there is actually also from Doodle Bug Design. These are shaped oh. sprinkles. So you've got the hearts that are like, can you see? It's like very nice fabric. And then look at the little trees. So yeah, if there's a if there's a stash band, I know some of you are um being strict for january they'll be on the website for when that stash band finishes in february um <sighs> then this is a restock we sold these really quickly this is a very fine glue good for your cut files deb the on point glue yes i haven't tried that one yet i shall have to try that and it um has a like that pin in the top so it never blocks because if you like me you get frustrated with glue that blocks right i'll whisk through this really quickly so you can get onto some scrapping more Carabelle Studio stamps. Look at these. I've got this one. Oh, they love, are beautiful. Love these. I mean, look, you don't want to tempt you too much. Look at these. Oh my goodness. This one, the largest of the set. Oh. Hi, Julie. We're just talking through new stash that's arrived. Not, I mean, lots of people on a January stash ban, and Steph's trying not to be tempted because we've just done some enamel dots and some stencils. Um, and then we're just we've got lots of new carabelle stamps coming in so they'll go on the website and then this one i love which is pink fresh studio but they all come apart so they're like little diamond borders and they all come apart so you could stamp them as a whole or in parts for backgrounds that's nice that'd be good for a background like, wouldn't it love that so that's stamps um, then we've got restocks. Remember this, Deb? I've used this on every. Oh, I've used that one so much. So that's come back in stock. So that will be updated on the website. Um, Fernwood, to add to the Fernwood collection if you like mini books. Look at the little tassels. Oh, um, my some, some new Nouveau dots. I haven't unpacked all of these yet. I, just, I, I mean, this. I just love this. I've got the I love the blue. blue. It's worth having them for the lids, isn't it? They're just, just gorgeous. Yeah, it's, it's like, no, it's like, do not look. You tuned in at the wrong time. You should have tuned in after this. Um, if, if we didn't have enough enamel dots, there's even more. Look, I forgot to show these. More enamel dots, simple stories. Um, and that one I'm going to go really quick. Right, Deb, you might be able to help me with these tools because these, you, you love your tools. So yes, just, yeah. One. That is a hole punch. And um, if I can put my hands on it, I can show you a couple of tags that I've used. So you can, it's a hole reinforcer. And that's absolutely fabulous. So I've made some tags that I'm really pleased with because I've used colour paper to coordinate. And the other one um, takes a notch out. So if you're doing mini books and you've got a pocket, I've been wanting one of these for ages. You can punch a notch out and then you've got a little you can do it with a circle but i've never had great oh success i got it. it so it makes a perfect little so this yeah. is kind of um inspired by paige evans cal summers mini book making i know cal um mm -hmm. paige uses the circle re she reinforces some of her pages i've seen yes i did say it's worth having them for just the i lid. love it and and Stepha said she took the gems off to store it upside down. But that's great because then I'd use the diamonds on a project. So I'd, oh. I'd definitely make the most of using the diamonds. But, oh, I just, yeah. I'm just going to try and find my tags. Yes, it would, yeah. Steph. You could make use of this at work. So that's so there's those. I will keep going because there's more. Stash. Now, I'll oh, just find my tags. I'll show these, them in a minute. Oh, fab. Yeah. I'll, I'll swap you over, Deb, in a minute and you can um, show us. So. Um, more Pink Fresh Studio Alphas because we thought we need it. Alphas is a bit of a staple. Um, right, I'm nearly there. Um, we've got um, a whole restock of all the Distress Mini inks, of all the oxides. They're all restocked, so they're all going to be listed. Um, and we love the um, Dina Wakely brushes. I haven't even taken out the packet yet. 
Um, they're such good quality. They're beautiful. So they're all in stock. And then um, inspired by Adam, I've just got a new puppy. So we got some of the Echo Park. Look at this. How cute is this? Oh, that's cute. So I've just Hello, got a new Adam. puppy. And um, oh, Adam's just here at the right time. We're talking <laughs> puppy paper. Because um, I've just got a new puppy and I haven't got any... Um, and I saw some of the stuff you were using, Adam. So we have got some of the Echo Park My Dog die cuts and the paper pack. So they'll be going on the website. And then last, but there is this isn't it because there's just boxes upstairs that I couldn't unpack. But I thought I'd show you a bit. Deb, you'll be interested in these Project Life. We've got some Project oh. Life packs. So we've got the baby boy because um, there's lots of people we know of of. Um, had new little ones recently and so we've got oh. project life cards so they will be all going on the website so not to tempt you or anything with the january stuff but oh, exactly adam so steph just said she can't look because there's this stencil which i used on a live <laughs> this beautiful beautiful stencil which i used on a live last week and we just got sort of stock of these so this is going on the shop this week and steph's like maybe i need it just for my guest design yes <laughs> like we're all supposed to be on january stash fans this is not helpful is it um but it's going to take a few days to upload to the website so yeah bear with that. that top one with the little bear and is that a hedgehog that's just yes yeah, so it comes with all the little pieces that's this lovely one. and this one gosh loads of cards um i can't even see how many cards look at this is more of the greens 500 journaling cards gosh yeah that's lovely nice isn't it right let's swap us back step you were going to show us the um the yeah, whole only thing. quickly i've just um cut some tags out of like boring brown card but using the eyelet punch it just means you can coordinate it with um whatever you're doing so i had quite a lot of fun with that i love that and while you're showing that i'm just going to get rid of the paper because I don't want to make a mess while we're we're crafting because we're going to move on to a bit of a bit of crafting next. I've got I've got like new stash everywhere. Look, it's all, <laughs> I'm going to have to get rid of all this stash. Shall I show you my layout, which was kind of the the idea for what we're doing tonight? Yeah, that'd be amazing. So, ages ago, I saw that somebody had done some lettering. And um, after my daughter got married, this is the lyrics of the song that they had at their first dance. Um, so I tried it again because I like doing it. And um, I thought I'd do one tonight. And this is the lyrics of the song that was playing when my grandson was born. It just happened to be one of their favourite songs. So it's just really simple lettering. But I think it's quite effective because... Um, it's you colour in just some of the letters and I quite like the effect and it's another way of making a background. Love so it. we're gonna have a go at that tonight, aren't we? So yeah, we are. And so um let me just join back in. Now I've got rid of all the I've got rid of all the stash everywhere. So yeah, we are gonna have a go at um making our own pattern background so this is a little one i had to go at but i also thought in just showing how we did it because you've started yours there deb i thought i might have a go with a white posca pen and yeah. in black because then i thought i could use this little piece on um a layout and you can see look that that was the back i had to go so that's the first step isn't it to do the wiggly lines yeah i did the wiggly lines first i did everything in pencil um, and then pen, and then colour in the letters last. Right, so I'm going to go straight in, because I thought I'm straight on black, if I can get the Posca pen to work. That's not very helpful. Any top oh. tips for a... Yeah, it's like a Diane Reevely style writing, isn't it? I love it. Ah, there we go. And she does the black. 
on the white, doesn't she? On her yeah. and Vicky posted a lovely page she had done. Um, Vicky, who goes to our crop, um, she posted a fantastic um, doodled layout that she'd done. We should post some of our old um, art journal pages because we tried all sorts of styles, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I haven't done any art journaling for so long, but this is kind of art journaling into scrapbooking. Right, so then if I was doing, say, I don't know, if I'm scrapbooking a picture of a baby, I might use the lyrics Twinkle, Twinkle. And so you and I think the, the simpler the lettering, the better it, it shows up. And you do oh, full did, um, height, don't you? you fill. Yeah. yeah, you fill it top to bottom. And I also did tiny hearts for the dots on the eyes. Like a circle. Yeah. Well, tiny little um, hearts I did for the for the dots. There's a posh name for them, isn't there? The dots on letters. I've forgotten what it was. I did know what it was called. I'm bound to make a mistake. There'll be a typo or something. That's why I did mine in pencil. Because <laughs> this is really time consuming to do it again because of a spelling mistake will be soul destroying. We're concentrating now. Concentrating, yeah. I'm going quick because... The, the one I did on the layout, I did in pencil, and then it took me ages. Well, I've already spent about an hour <laughs> doing this. It is a labour of love, I would say. You see, it looks quite nice in, in um, black, because then I would probably... You actually coloured in the holes, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, but you yeah. could put little stars in, couldn't you? So Steph says, is it called Tittle? Yes, it's something like that, yes. The name for the dot on the... I knew it was a funny, I knew it was a funny word. Ah, I like that. Yeah. I've got a heart, Tittle. <laughs> Be careful how you say that. <laughs> What's everybody else doing? Is anybody crafting this evening? It's been so cold, hasn't it? Oh gosh, the ice on the car when I left at 7.15 this morning, it was, yeah. Yeah, I scraped mine earlier and then I had to do it again. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> so it is quite quick if you don't do pencil, if you're brave enough. Yeah. You can do it quite quickly if. And you even did it on the bottom, didn't you? Sorry? Yes. You even did. Yeah, yeah. bottom. <clears throat> but the thing is, once you come to the end, look, if I, that twinkle, twinkle, I think I do twinkle, twinkle in small little star. So I didn't have yeah. the gaps, but you can always. Absolutely. Well, fill in marks. Yeah. gaps with some little stars because I think I'm going to end up doing a bit of what Di Reevely does where she starts to doodle gosh we d used to do lots of doodling didn't we yeah, I remember Zentangle. Did anybody do Zentangling? Yeah, 
And do you know what I did? Um, I've been doing pencil skills with year one and I they were so good. I did Zentangling yesterday and it was absolutely amazing. I was blown away by what some of them oh, produced. It's very therapeutic too, a bit of Zentangle. So well, Steph's I just think been... it's a nice skill to have, isn't it? You know, and if they want to go and chill and do a little bit of doodling, it's yeah. nice to be able to know how to do it. Why not? Yeah, absolutely. Steph's doing some prep for Saturday's live. Looking oh. forward to that. Oh, drinking and tea, PJs. I must admit oh, my PJs are on as well. Love it. Yeah. It is so cold. So you don't want to do much else. So it's almost as you start to doodle, it's almost the words kind of mingle into a kind of patterned paper. But what I would then kind of do is I would just mount this on a layout like that with some other embellishments and a photo that covers part of it. So it's like this creates the bit of pattern paper. Yeah, you'll have to show Aubrey a bit of um, Zentangling. She'd love that. She's got that little artistic flair, I think. So she would love it. I can always send you some of the sheets that I've got, um, Julie, because I've um, downloaded them to use for school and oh, printed yeah. them off. So, um, yeah, I mean, I was blown away by what they did today. Fab. Uh, yesterday, it was fabulous. And they really enjoyed it. It's lovely. When I turn up, they go, oh, it's art today. It's so nice. Oh, how old are they? Year ones. So they're... Oh, five and six. I, I really thought Zentangling would be quite complicated. And some yeah. of them, wow, they're just amazing. Love it. And of course, I'm in my element. Because, I mean, who doesn't Absolutely. love art? Right, so this is, I could carry on, I think this is the kind of thing I'll carry on doodling in front of the TV, but you get the idea on white. And then this is my actual layout that I'm going to work on today. And I kind of, you're, so you're colouring in. I'm colouring in just the um, solid bits and all the, on all the letters. Right, so in red you're going in here yeah right um there. just yes like the middle of the e and the middle of the o and the a so none of that here here yeah got it <coughs> but i think it's quite effective when you color it in and well, it's it quite makes them hot yeah I can't remember who I saw do this. It must have been something on Pinterest, but yeah, or 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 as Julie said, somebody like Diane maybe. I know it's definitely coloured. Yeah, the pro markers are nice. They give a re it, they give a really nice finish, don't they? They don't um, they give a nice even colour. Yeah, but. It's good to use thick card because it does bleed a little bit. But I'm working on 300 yeah. GSM card, so I'm Even working this on it bleeds through. This is yeah, the are you on GSM? Yeah, this is the white card stock, the smooth white card stock that we stock in the shop, and it is 300 GSM, so it's excellent for mixed media. Um. A little bit like foundations paper we stock foundations paper as well which holds well it's just fabulous the vicky booten foundations paper but this we find is a pretty close alternative right so i can see how this is definitely something you would do in front of the tv Yes. And you have to have quite good light to do it, I would say, as well. Oh, yeah. Um, Judy says, yes, please. And you could save till April when we when we see you at the... Oh, it's her favourite lesson at school. It's brilliant, isn't it? I just love it. You see, I used to love art, but then 
I did A level DT and I found because in our I I don't see myself as an artist, if you know what I mean, not as in the drawing and the painting, whereas design technology, which was the designing and making, so I did woodwork, jewellery making, metalwork, um, textiles, that for me, I loved it. But I think that everybody can draw. And I mean, I've done, I've bought those little um, mannequins and we've drawn, we've looked at how the body is joined, joined up and heads and limbs. And they've done such an amazing job. And it's so lovely when they think that they can't draw and then you give them yes. some skills and they apply it. We've done lots of um, 3D shapes. And um, a couple of years ago, we had a bird's topic and um, we drew feathers and we all cut them out and drew them and made a big class bird and it just looked really lovely yeah i just you you do have a talent my though. Thing. i Pardon? remember when you do have a talent for remember you did those art journal lady faces they were so good oh well, they're all right. you did teach me you you taught me and i had to go but it's all, all of it is just practice because they say, oh, I can't draw like you do. And I said to them, well, how long do you think I've been practicing? And I don't tell them exactly how many years, but, you know, it's... Have you seen I love the YouTube clip Austin's Butterfly? What's it called? Austin's Butterfly. Don't know. It doesn't ring a bell. So it's a kindergarten class, little tiny, tiny children. Yeah. And they are learning to draw a butterfly. And it's like a scientific experiment where they get them to draw it once. Uh, and then they sort of um, critique each other and they learn and they refine. Then they draw it a second time. And on the sixth time, the progress they've made and the way it looks yeah. is amazing. So... Yeah, if you're thinking about art and if you're good enough or not, Austin's Butterfly is a good one because these little tiny children try, try, try again. And then by the sixth, it's, it's a mindset. You're right. It is. I mean, there's some really simple things like children will say, I can't draw a horse. And I just say to them, well, what shapes can you see? What shape is the head? Is it a square? Is it a triangle? And you break it down into what you can see and they get something that, looks the right shape yeah something yeah. else i love doing is looking at an um an illustrator and copying the style they're always really good at that that's good steph's heard of austin's butterflies that yeah it is amazing um but when you say about drawing a horse believe me i've tried to draw a horse <laughs> oh. i mean you know, i couldn't get, even like, the shape of the body and the legs and a vague sort of nightmare nightmare shape. looks like a, i couldn't even say it looked like a donkey it's hilarious but i'm sure it wasn't that bad Faye. it's endearing <laughs> i bet it had character definitely had character <laughs> yeah rachel just draw stick people seriously i'm with you we might be scrapbookers and we might be creative we like that kind of stuff but drawing is a whole different ball game I like art journaling because you can kind of make a mess, mix media. It doesn't matter. But I, the reason I like scrapbooking is because you're making something that you keep. Whereas the art journaling, I like to experiment. And and then actually, I, it's more about the photographs for me. I don't know what other people think. But for some um, people, the art journalers are trying to get a, a picture that looks like a child's drawn it. So that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, and like, lady, um, Macy, Macy something, Macy, Mindy Lacefield or Lace, something like that. And she does those little quirky faces and yeah. it's all about looking like... Um, like children's drawings. Yeah. yeah. But I like the kind of memory keeping side of... I do. Looking, which is why I first got into it because I love to look back... Um, but and I know that my children like to look back as well. Yeah. Because some people say their family aren't interested. But Simon came and 
showed all his friends my scrapbooks. Yeah. <laughs> that was really nice. And they'll all be going, oh, why does my mum not do that? Well, they actually did. They said, oh, I wish my mum did something like this. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, the drawing of stick. That's about my level. But like um, art journaling, people do as definitely as like switch off time is just... Cause a bit you like don't have to thing. draw, do you? You can no. um, use a face from a magazine. You can use pictures you cut out from anywhere. Stamping. You can collage things. Stamping. Yeah, collage, stamping, yeah. Good place Stamping to on tissue paper is nice. Oh, it's nice to go back through those albums, Steph. Exactly. It's like if you gift an album or or even your own albums, I often just sit and go through. And also, because we've been scrapping our gosh, I mean, oh, how long, Deb? Yours longer than me. Well, Jen's oh, 33 and I did an album for her 18th. So yeah. I'm not scrapping. I hadn't found anywhere to go then. But, I mean, we've been running Twilight for 11 years in May. I think it's 11 years in May. Yeah, so I think maybe it's 15 or 16 years. Yeah, it's got to be. Me. And I look back at the first album because I was trying to find some layouts to share. And I thought, oh, my gosh, I, like your style just changes, doesn't it? And yeah. also like fashions and things. I mean, fashions in paper crafting change. Yeah. So I want to redo Jenna's 18th because I look at it and I think, oh, my goodness, that's really dire. But she loves it. I had yeah, all mania papers. Do you remember those? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I mean, it is definitely something to look back on. You don't want to change it. I would have redone them, but Jenny didn't want me to, so I didn't. No, absolutely. And you're right, Julie. That's another thing I love is that I just don't think I would print them out. But because I scrapbook, I actually print them out. I get to go, yeah, just... In this they digital. say that lots of people now don't print photos out. They just keep them on their phones, don't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely. And they store them in the cloud so that they're, they're backed up. But they they wouldn't have... I mean, now these sort of book companies, you can print them and make them into books, can't you? But Yeah. I know some people who do a monthly book of their wow. photos. every month. Yeah, but that's a complete nightmare to organise. Yeah, it takes a lot of a lot yeah, of software isn't always the easiest. No. I've done those for gifts sometimes, but I do like the physical crafting. Yeah. Hi Jean. Oh, you've just found us. It's okay. We're um we're almost there with the colouring. So we did a little bit of a product preview to start with, and lots of people are on a stash band, so it was too much temptation. <laughs> Um, they're not on the website yet, but uh, lots of exciting stuff to come. And then we're just experimenting with this hand let hand drawn lettering for a new take on patterned backgrounds. Nearly there, so I'm ca I'm colouring in all the gaps. I'm not going to be nearly there at all. <laughs> Yours is, um, and you're doing the black bits as well, aren't you? As I'd, yeah. I've done a blue Peter with mine, but then I've got, I'll go on to start scrapbooking the layout afterwards. Rachel, that's amazing. Um, Like you've got a gallery. I've put some photos in frames up the stairs, but have you put your scrapbook layouts up or like framed photos? Because I know um, some people have like a gallery of their scrapbook layouts and then they change those over mm. regularly. I've got some layouts um, in my lounge, but I'm going to change them. But they were um, they were album frames. I think they were really cheap from the works. Yes, I know. Um, Records. Like, yeah. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, Jean's on a no-spend January. There, there's a few people on that so that's that gives us a little bit of time to upload it to the website because there's a lot of new stash so Very that's good exciting. and we're trying to be good for january and we've got a retreat in february when we know we'll have lots of nice scrapbooking stash so yeah people are being good 
yeah we're all hoping we do that lateral flow test and we can get in the car and go that is what we're absolutely got everything crossed for. i mean the stress now of doing a lateral flow test i know it's like will i win the lottery or not because it's like you desperately don't want to miss um, i am going damage. to um have a complete tantrum if i can't go just putting it out there ah framed photos yeah that, so it's a bit i've got something on a small scale up um my stairs that are like a little gallery of um photos but i could definitely grow that and i and i do think i should try and display some of my layouts because i haven't got any framed and yet i've given framed layouts as gifts um to people and I've seen those up in people's houses, which is really nice. Family have got them framed. Oh, that's nice. Julie, good work. You're trying to do a nose April. friend until April. That's a long time. That is a long time. You'll have to keep us posted on how long you last. It's like the thing is, there's new collections from Paige and Vicky, come, Vicky Booten coming out. And I think they're April, so you might be okay on that. I think they're shipping in April because we've been keeping an eye out. Right, I think mine is done, but I'd just like to ask you one question, Deb. I've got a capital A here with a, I would colour that, wouldn't I? Um, where, yes, I would. Colour I've that got one here, here. I'm going to colour mine. Actually, Julie, that's perfect timing because, yes, you get to see all the physical oh, stuff yeah. from the shop at the retreat and we always make sure we do a big top up of new stock for the treat retreat so there'll be plenty to see right so that is mine so i did the lyrics to we wish you a merry christmas um wiggly lines drawn in black pen and then colored in and then what I thought I might do, so I'm going to mount a photograph. And some of this is going to be quite well covered, but that's okay because it is supposed to just be like a pattern background. Um, yes, <laughs> Adam's created. Adam was on here earlier. I'm not sure if he's with us, but it was funny. He's, he's definitely on a stash fan, but there are exceptions to the rule. I love that. And then and he saw the exceptions, doggy paper. <laughs> yeah, he just saw that some of our new stock is an Echo Park because uh, I've got a new puppy too. So um, I want to scrapbook some of my puppy photographs. And he's like, oh dear, the stash ban. <laughs> it's hilarious. We're all, you know, trying to be motivated. But, you know, then there's the January release, the February release of the flare. So what are you to do? Because you'll want that as well. I mean, I've got Christmas money, technically. Well, and, and we, Debbie and I, both treated ourselves with some of our Christmas money to um, a Cricut heat press so we yes. can do our own vinyl clothing. So there's another craft that we've both enabled ourselves to buy. Well, I was using right. an iron before, but I've been told it's not the same. So No. Right, so now I'm just experimenting a little bit of evergreen bow distress oxide because I'm using the Vicky Booten Warm Wishes paper for this. And so I wanted to have a little kind of dotty background to mount my photo. And I didn't quite have the paper to match, but in the spirit of making my own pattern paper, I thought, well, why not? I'll just use a stencil and have to match it up because I moved it I see Vicky Bootin reline the stencil up and she does it like absolutely so well oh so it's a repeating stencil you mean yeah but she re I moved it accidentally Deb I didn't have hold of it so um. I moved it but she manages to line it up I think I've done it she's definitely I'm a bit more skilled at that than I am. I expect she does lots of stenciling though, don't you? She does. She's so good. I love watching her live. She goes, hello. It's friends. just like art fair. You just practice and you get better all the time. Yeah. That's quite nice. A little bit of evergreen bow. 
what are you doing with that? Are you going to make your photo on that? Yeah, so I thought I wanted something pattern paper to mount because I'm going to use this lovely cut apart, the Warm Wishes cut apart. Oh, nice. And I wanted something that was a bit make my own pattern paper. So I thought, well, that's a good match. Yes, um, Steph, the loophole thinking is the way forward. So we're on a stash van. We just need to think of loopholes that help us navigate the the ban effectively. <laughs> yes, I love our thinking. Right, and then I've got this photo, which is a Christmas one in front of a Christmas tree, but I quite this one's quite orange and the paper's quite red, so I might go with black and white. I sometimes print my photos like this. I um, edit them in my phone and then I upload them to um, the Becky Higgins app where you can put two photos into a six by four. And then that means when you send them off to Snapfish and you get them printed, you've got two color combos. So when you come to your light, you're like, oh, actually is a black and white one better than the color? And it just gives you the, the option. I use that app all the time. I it's love brilliant, it. Isn't it? Yes, Julie, I must admit, I get, I get the Fox box and I have my advent flares. So it's not a total stash bag not a total stack i'm not doing that i i've probably i feel i feel pretty good actually you have been well and when we come to do things for the lives and we look through and we think oh we don't really treat ourselves to much stash we need no we don't really we need more stash we're, we're, we're restrained and then and then we feel like we need new stuff particularly when new deliveries arrive and you think oh, i need i need all the things well that knitting stencil and the crochet one oh my goodness you're gonna need that deb yeah it's I'm the so crochet you definitely like the crochet one yeah right so i'm trimming this a little bit i don't know how i'm gonna do this yet yeah i could I should have really got a nice little scrapper sketch sketch to to give me some inspiration. But I'm thinking I'm just going to build this up with some of this cut apart paper and see how we go. Make it up as we go along. I think I think it's that one. What do people think? Or actually, do we want a warmer picture? Hmm. Or, I tell you, where's the other picture I had? I've got so much stuff all over the place. There was, ah, I think this is the one I was also thinking, this one. Hmm. Oh, that's cute. This that one. Works. That works. Rather than that's a little bit orangey. What do, what do people think? Yeah. I think yes. that one. Oh, Julie, this is going to be hard for the stash fan, isn't it? So um, Debbie's got her eye on. So we've had a whole host of Carabelle Studio stencils in. Not that I want to tempt anybody at all. So I've got a whole basket of the new stash here. And we have this one, which is the crochet. That is just beautiful. And then we have this one, which is the knitting. Both beautiful. Stencil. We've got other lovely ones from Kate Crane and all these lovely things. But because Debbie likes her knitting, it's those. So we'll move those quickly because we're on a stash pan. <laughs> like, don't. Tempt. yeah that this this one julie the baby one and it's got the softer reds rather than the oranges which i think is going to go better with this paper so yes i'm with you and i quite like this little dark green for some contrast let's um let's go with the flow right do a wonky, I'm going to do a wonky cut here, but I don't want all of it. You're still busy colouring, I'm Deb. Still, I'm still busy, I'm writing now. 
because I like this deep green. Mm -hmm. But we end up then, like you say, you, you don't want to cover too much of the... I'm just going to put a little baby photo on here. I'm not going to put a lot on because I don't really want to cover the lyrics too much. I want them to kind of show. Yeah, because I think on the one you showed, you didn't have very much on there at all, did you? You um, kind of let the let the background do the talk. It's nice to have a record of the lyrics, I thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm holding that right under the camera. That's not very helpful. Luckily, these are only tags because I'm not great with fussy cutting. I don't have the patience, but I can cope with cutting out tags. And it will just take a bit of playing around. And then I did have some of these, which I quite liked, the thickers. The little gold dream. Are they the Roses Studio ones or Thickers ones? No, these ones are the Thickers ones. So we've got some nice gold ones. We've got those. gold Just... roses, and then I've also got some of these, which are very gold, gold. Oh, they're which nice. You've, you've got things like the word memories, but because it's a little baby and it's asleep, maybe yeah. the word dream. This is where lots of faffing ends up coming in here, isn't it? Lots of faffing. So I think it's like there. Because it's that kind of, again, the handwritten stuff that I think works. Then I just loved this little, this is Bramble Fox. I think this was from the December, maybe. Um wishes possibly oh it's got a little piece that needs to come out the magic could be a little tab gonna, i think this is just going to build up with lots of little pieces it might it might take a while I've got some I've got some nice flair. I picked out some coordinate that I just this was in my advent calendar. I think I think we need so I'm a bit of a glitter sparkly I'd love a glitter set of flair. Can you imagine? Oh what's have the you suggested it yet? No, I'm gonna have to suggest glit I'm gonna have, I'm to, gonna suggest have to suggest it. I, we've had some of my advent calendars I had glitter ones and I've used them already because I just love them but um oh um Julie says what's the song Debs um it's Into My Arms by Nick Cave ah um it's beautiful words my daughter actually wanted it for her wedding um but she wasn't allowed because it meant it mentions something religious although I, I don't think it's like particularly religious and um they did a playlist to take in when she had the baby and he happened to be born to this song. So it's quite trendy at the moment, Nick Cave. If, if you watch um, Peaky Blinders, yes, um, the title music is Nick Cave. Ah, he's, he's got quite trendy lately, but we liked him before he was trendy. Yeah, <laughs> we liked him the first time around. Yes, yes. Right, then we did... Um, do you remember that song he did with Kylie Minogue, Where the Wild Roses Grow? No. No? I probably would if I heard it. I'm not going to sing it, Faye. <laughs> we could do Scrap Along. <laughs> Let's do Scrap Along Karaoke. I'll name that tune in. You know I love a bit of karaoke. <laughs> the thing is, anybody else watching doesn't like a little bit of karaoke. I think that's your forte, Faye. You're very good. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Sorry if I'm wobbling. I'm just rubbing out my pencil. 
yeah that's the bit i had to do it's um and i had to make sure that the um the ink was properly dry do you know i'm really dry. impressed with this pen it's only a cheapo paper mate ink joy i got it from home bargains and they were really cheap and it's been one of the best black pens and it's i mean it, i've only just written with it it's not smudging at all i'm really impressed that's with it. good yeah so I tend to recommend. use, I get, I, I, what, if I'm doing white pens, Posca is amazing. I've, I, my un, Signo Uniballs just seem to block. And then my normal black pens, I get these kind of from Amazon. They're just this Stadler pigment liner and you get them all in different sizes. So I did this one in a 0 0.5. I had those, but I couldn't find them. So I, I use this and these have actually worked out better because mine went a bit funny on the tips yes yeah um julie's had a quick listen she said voice not for me but nice lyrics i don't know they are lovely nick, lyrics nick cave i need i'm gonna have to go and do some research after nick this. cave and the bad seeds a lot of people don't like his voice but i think it's so unusual um and his lyrics are just beautiful there's so many that have got such lovely words I'll have to do some research. Right, so I'm just building up a bit of foliage. I'd say murder, ba murder ballads are a little bit grim. <laughs> but I love, I love listening to it. I just love it. So this isn't particular. This is just a Jen Hatfield kind of ephemera, ephemera flowers and things. But I kind of think the leaves... Those colours match, though. They look lovely together. Yeah, because this Vicky Booten paper is all a sort of a bit naturey. So I think I can get away with that. And then that makes my little Bramble Fox box piece stand out. And I've got my little bit of gold flare here. I've got a little bit of um, green and red flare there, which kind of works nicely. But... I'm going to need lots of little bits of ephemera. I kind of really like this one as well. I wonder if, if I've tucked that one there. I can put that one there. It's all getting a bit 3D, which I love. I know Deb will be going to. <laughs> too much. <laughs> These, they come like this, look. And I'm just, I'm just tearing them I'm in half. I think phone dots a lot now, Faye. I use Are them you? on practically every layout, yeah. Good. I'm embracing a little bit of 3D. Yeah, that's good to hear. I'm loving that, Deb. I quite like these black and white ones because it almost looks like they're hand-drawn, like the letters. This is a case where it's just not going to come together until I stick it down, but I'm just playing around with this at the minute. And it's the kind of thing you could keep adding to, adding more and more. I've got I've got these which I love, but the colour tones are all wrong for this paper. I mean, the little grey rabbit possibly is quite cute. Oh, that the, blue, nice. the blues, oh, yeah, because the rabbit with the with the little with the photo maybe. Mm. Oh look, he's a little ice skating rabbit. Oh, that is so cute. That is cute, isn't it? I wonder if he could go at the corner here, maybe, because I think there's too much. Or he could go above the word dream in that little cluster. I don't think he's really going to go up in the corner because he looks like he's floating a bit too high up there. Maybe here because i'm going to build out a bit more embellishment you can see i'm going to have to start sticking this down soon because i end up faffing night rachel thanks for joining us sleep well night, i must admit i fell asleep on the sofa last night about nine o'clock i was gone oh i was asleep by half seven yesterday were you oh, yes i woke up at nine for an hour and went to bed then <laughs> Oh, I do like you know, the getting home, PJ's on. Oh, yeah. We make a fire, open fire, and, uh, well, wood burner we've got, and then that's it. The heat is, I'm, I'm all gone. 
unless I'm sort of scrolling on my phone and then I'm watching things on Facebook and then I, I tend to be a bit more awake. But you're right, once you're gone, you're gone. I was out for the count. So I'm 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 busy cutting this. I'm hand scalloping because I think it needs a little bit of a red border at the bottom. I do love these cut parts because you've got almost you sort of pick the bits that you want to make into your own little ephemera. Not too much fussy cutting though. I can't I can't have the patience for that. No, I'm not a fussy cutter. I don't mind some basics, but not too much. I'm trying to cut this straight and not making a very good job of it. But I do like these some um, Tim Holt scissors are just <clears throat> the best. It took me some while to get used to it, but now these are my go-to. They've got like a little serrated edge. They always look a bit big to me, but I suppose it's like the ATG gun, isn't it? Once you used to oh, it, because the 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 blade is really small and the handle is like an easy grip. Amazing. We we um we got these in the shop because I love them so much. Right, that's almost like a little scallop mm. that I want to cut. It's not that I don't it. have them. I've got me little Wilkinson sword needlework ones, and I think once you ah. get used to a pair of scissors. Exactly, it's what you used to. Yes. Yeah, I wanted to ground that photo and make the gold jump a bit more and make my little um, rabbit have something to sit on. So I think that's better. There. The only thing, if I was going to tone down a bit, I'd tone down this red a little bit. Because you see, this is a deeper red. So I got mm. some like watercolour pens. Now, I don't know. I'll have to do a tester to see how pro markers react with watercolour pens. Because I might dull down this red. Because I put a little bit of white over it. Yeah, it needs. Well, then it might go a bit pinky. Can you see this deep red? Yeah. The warm wish. Would it be like with a little bit of acrylic white just... Yeah, I might before I stick it down, I might not um I might play with it a little bit. A little bit of vellum. Ah, oh, what oh over the um I don't have any 12 by 12, but I know what you mean, Steph. That would be amazing, like the vellum over so that your so that the writing came through. Well, there might not be a stash band now because I'm gonna have to go online and see if I could. But I love it. Yeah, just a 12 by 12 soft vellum over the top, and then it would just mute. And then you just add the, the background coming through. Right, I've cut a little December here. And I might even put these in because I'm just, I've got these little pieces left. So he might go there. Maybe this one here. I'll stick all this down once I'm happy with the background, but I'm kind of just building this all up a bit. What do we think? It could go on over and over, but I love the idea of vellum, Steph. I'm going to, when we finish, I'll go online. <laughs> online. Oh, uh, that's dash ban. Mm. It, now, was for, it was for DT, wasn't it? It was for, um, it was for work. This is technically work. Well, and it? also, I don't think I committed to a January stash bank because I thought I know what I'm like when you need something but I think it's definitely good to have right try and use up your stash that's why some of these challenges like make your own pattern paper so I put his birthday there I just haven't got enough hours in the day I've got so many cut files I want to use and so many photos and it's just like just not enough time no there isn't enough time that's true so cutting a few more bits out and then i reckon 
I will, what I have to do is I'll photograph it so I know I've got the layout and then maybe I'm just going to tweak this background before I stick it down so I know I'm happy with it. That's what I do if I'm happy that, with it, take a photo. Yeah, because the bright red I've got to do something about and then I'll be happy with it, I think, once I, I like to say, get some vellum. No, there isn't, Julie. Not enough hours. <laughs> I mean, even when we go on retreats, it's like you get to Sunday and you think, "What? Where did that? Yeah. Where did that weekend go?" I'm just cutting this. A weekend just goes in a flash. I quite like that. The little, maybe no peeking there. See, it's just. And then what else did I dig out? I don't think this gold sparkly is going to work. That's a bit too, a bit too gold. Although these little gold hearts, how cute are they? They are very oh, cute. I could get away with some gold glitter hearts. Maybe. They're quite cute. Hmm. <laughs> and you're still colouring. You're still colouring. Oh, because you've done all your lettering as well. Which see, I did my lettering in front of the TV. It didn't didn't take too long. No, I I did mine. I did mine today because I and I had sort of the afternoon unexpectedly. So I thought I'll uh, make the most of it. Yeah. Right. And I, I think see. I think I might have perhaps more rows of writing i don't know yeah i think you have i think mine was slightly larger and i think that once i sort the background out and i get that red tone right then i'm going to assemble that and put and stick it all down i Fabulous. think that is the way to go well, oh, I'm not going to be able to finish this now because it's going to take little, a little while. A little no peeking tag. I think that works quite well there. And that and that little that little rabbit. How cute is that? The bramble fox, bramble fox one. So I'll get that get that all finished, and um, yeah, get the background sorted, and then I'll maybe post a a picture of it on the Facebook group. So we hope that's given you a bit of inspiration, a bit of um, idea on um, another way to make pattern paper. So I did the um, the words, lettering, background, the lyrics to the song, and I did a little stenciled um, piece in the background. So once we're finished, we'll post um, to the Facebook page. Absolutely. Okay, thanks for joining us, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.